the same fellow you were so fond of. Still can't count. Stage manager? Yes. Yes, you were amazed that he could count to ten. Yes. Yep. Most unusual. Is it? Stage manager? go on strike. Everybody else in New York is on strike. That's true. No, I, 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 think the po I think this postal strike may be settled by now. Let me ask Mr. S Mr. S Mr. S uh, Stadlin something. Have you noticed that my stammer comes back when you're here? I get Jack Parr's stammer. I used to work there. <laughs> Mr. Stadlin. It's nothing unusual. I get a stammer occasionally, too. Do you really? Yeah. I think everyone does occasionally. It's a kind of nervousness, uh -huh. which comes from strict poverty. <laughs> Good. Uh, not knowing where your next bread is coming from. It comes in my case from not being able to talk well. I don't know what I'm going to say next. Well, so that's I, go, all right. and... I, I have no idea what I'm going to say next either, but you have a brilliant vocabulary. You're probably the best conversationist in, of all the oh, cut that the out. late shows. Thank you. Thank you. May I change the subject for a moment? I wanted to ask Mr. Stadlin you know, about... I can't get anything from you. <laughs> By saying that you're good and talented and clever. Can't get anything. How do you no, mean No, I mean I can't get it like a piano or an icebox or something. <laughs> no, no, you can't. You get nothing at all. <laughs> like there's some shows. A few jokes. Spiegel or something where they give away, I don't know. Are they not allowed to do that anymore? No? No, the FCC. Are, are you still giving it? <laughs> it's funny, I wasn't listening and I missed something and everybody was laughing. May I ask Mr. Stadlin this question, or can I put it in writing and hand it over to him? There's a mail strike. Don't be a thing. Oh, I forgot about that. Uh, Feel free to ask him anything well, you want. Well, I was interested because they I'll have to leave home. to find out how he rehearsed, I mean, researched you and looked up all the things he needed to know about you, and did he read a lot? And, and he did a remarkable job, I must say. Did he? Yes. But I Fantastic. bet he don't get to do it on this program. <laughs> J jump in now, you're, jump in you're now. You're sort of a female wise guy, aren't you? A female wise guy. That's the last night guy. you'll ever be my mother. <laughs> oh, you say that to all the girls. No. Uh, Just to the men. You know, last night I was standing in the wings watching Groucho's face, and I wished I had a camera because he had such mixed feelings. Because I don't, and I was standing in the wings, and the stage manager was getting very angry at me because you're not supposed to do that. And he was sitting about the fourth or fifth row, mm -hmm. and I even got my eyeglasses out to look because he wanted the show to be successful and good, at which it is. It's funny. And every time Luke came on the stage, his face sort of twitched because he, and it really must be a, a strange experience be. to watch somebody. Do you, uh, it's like being dead and coming back. <laughs> You've never seen yourself on a stage, have you? I mean, I hope not. I've seen myself in the movies. Yeah. Uh, did but, they audition you for this part? For this part, they yeah. did, but it was hopeless. <laughs> what about? I'm going to try again with Mr. Stadlin and see what happens here. You I don't think anything will happen. <laughs> This is, this is what Margaret Dumont must have felt like. Yes, now we know how she felt. <laughs> and there was a time when I felt Mrs. Margaret Dumont. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, they're gonna we move, knew that already. They're going to move this show later and later if you keep talking like that. Yes, it should be. Well, I'll tell you what Stadlin... <laughs> I'll tell you what Stadlin was going to say. Stadler, get up and do something, will you? What he, was, what he did was, you want to hear it? Yes. Here's what you were going to say. You an were going to say that An extraordinary amount of research. He, he did an extraordinary amount of research. <laughs> and you said it would stuttering. Yes, I did. And, ahead, then, Patrick, and then he, Henry. what he did was, Stadlin, the man over there who can't speak now, he got a monologue together and auditioned as you. Really? And he's going to do that monologue for us, or I'd love to hear part it. of it. I would. But what we have to do is... No, please, I, I mustn't stop. Could, what we have to do is take Could I it. use it later in Vegas? <laughs> he has to get like you. He has to, in other words, transform himself into you. So okay. what we will do now is take a, a break. It's like and Dr. We... Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Huh? Well, it will be if we don't get yeah. to it. And if you'd well, like let to... let him jack him and I'll go over and hide. If you'd... <laughs> if you'd like to get your hair clean and bright... If you'd what? like to... <laughs> I say, if you'd like to get if your... If I had clean hair, do you think I'd be wearing this? <laughs> Without getting all wet, do what Gladys does. Gladys. What? Great kid, Gladys. Said it.